Yeah, so guys, today we're going to have a guide on how to play Troll Nails as the Elf. I'm not very like a super good player, but I feel like I'm decent. And I'm gonna show you like the most basic strat without any super advanced strategies or whatsoever. Uh, most people, m most played uh, maps are top right and bottom left, so I'm gonna show on the top right. Uh, so you wanna pick Elf and you prepare the hotkeys uh, Z, B and A. So Z is a blink, B is for the build, and A is tent. Then also Z is a wall. So like B Z is a wall, B A is a tent. You prepare the hotkeys that were useful. So we select this map. Yes, I want to select this map. Uh, usually you you like you spawn in the square and to which side you are closer, to that side you are blinking. Uh, I have a preference to build on the top of this map, like there are very good bases there, so yeah, I'm gonna blink also on the top. You build a tent and you build a wall, and then you upgrade the tent to level 2. You also make hotkeys to easily destroy them. I went the wrong way, I already ruined my speed run. I'm sorry. I usually like the base on the right side more, but it's fine. It's whatever, so. We can go to this side. Build a wall, upgrade it four times, okay? Uh, destroy these ones and build a tent here. I build it one tile away from the trees. So after this, you upgrade the house to the max amount you can, and then you make a town hall to upgrade it again. It, it's a requirement. Uh, after this, you need to upgrade your wall twice, and then you can upgrade the house again. So it's like upgrade wall, upgrade house, upgrade wall, upgrade house from now on. So upgrade wall, you wait for the upgrade on the house. Once you get the income uh, 64, you spam Q button to buy wood. You need 40 wood. You need 40 wood on this stage. Uh, by the way, if Troll attacks you right now, which is super super early, and usually doesn't happen to any, to like y you in particular, maybe some random, but not you. Uh, what you do, you press Entangle first. Uh, when once it's expired, you cast the Shield of Gods on your tower. Okay. Okay, we uh, upgrade this, and we make a tree. We make a tree. Put it on hotkey, it's very good. And you spam four basic collectors. You can also make uh, two simple collectors, or you can make uh, one professional collector. Doesn't really matter, but the fact is still the same. Like, it's basically the same amount of wood per second, but just four basic occupy more trees. But they build, getting built faster. So if throw attacks, you once again entangle, then shield of guts, and you start building towers. Just make like one unupgraded tower. It's not gonna ruin your economy too much, so it's fine. For the next house, you need to upgrade wall four times. I mean, it's like, was it three times extra? Yeah, three times extra. And okay, as you can see, you have perfect amount for next house. Now we need uh, two simple collectors or four basic collectors again. Because I occupy the remaining trees, I'm making two simple collectors, so yeah. Yeah, like, Troll usually can attack you now, so you once again, cast and tango, then cast Shield of Gods. It gives you armor, it just delays the troll, and you start building the towers. You build like around, uh, I don't know, like four or, or three on each side here, and you're good. Upgrade the wall again. Build more towers, towers, upgrade them. And troll will piss off, usually. You wasted a lot of time. Just make sure to cast spells. Uh, now, Next step is three professional collectors. So first step is four basic, second step two simple, and then three professional collectors. So I have three of these guys. Uh, also could be like one professional, one complex, just as you want, as you want. It's just a preference, you know. Throw text you again, then you cast this thing again, then you upgrade the towers, like everything gonna be fine. You're not gonna die to troll by any means. If your economy is that good, it's, it's, it's gonna be alright. Also you're pretty far away from the middle, you're gonna choose prioritize a guy here, like if, if there is a guy closer, you know. Upgrade the wall, upgrade the house. Now we need one professional collector and two complex collectors. I'm not very like playing super fast right now because I'm trying to explain as well. It's very hard to like talk and explain at the same time. So you make one professional collector, 
Last time you made three, now you make one, and you make two complex collectors. It's like basically the ideal amount of wisps, so you can upgrade the wall, and then you can upgrade your house to the next level immediately. You can see like it's almost like uh, perfect it's gonna be when it will hit the time. Like yeah, a little bit off, a little bit off, but it's still fine, right? So after you make a windmill, first thing you upgrade these towers upgrade. to max level. It's, it's kind of a preference, but it really saves you time not focusing on that later. Because you have like a max income for the time being, it making no sense why not upgrade them right now. Then, you make one unupgraded tower, uh, usually more to the middle, but it's okay. And make four technology towers, okay? Four technology towers, usually also closer to the middle. But like this position is kind of like, man, I feel like it's gonna be reaching there too. You upgrade also fortress. At 80 gold, you make a Ionic Collector. And then you make a Secret Laboratory. Secret Laboratory, when you, whenever you have 500 uh, wood. You make uh, gold collectors, a lot of them. You can make also extra trees, they were helping. They were helping. And when you hit 4000 wood, you start building uh, gold mines. Well, I fucked up, I think. Yeah, no, I did not. Wow, good. Usually make wisps on this side, so because this side is occupied, so yeah. Just press X. Uh, if Troll attacks you, yeah, after after ma you make two Ionic Collectors, uh, make a Defense Aura, Defense Tower. It's gonna really buff your uh, wall a lot, so you won't have to upgrade wall too much, instead you can just upgrade it once, the Defense Aura. Keep on building the gold mines for 4000, you can make the cheaper ones, but they occupy space, yeah, so it's better to stay like this, in my opinion, in my opinion. If Troll is very strong, you know, right now, well, you can also afford uh, True Side Tower. If Troll is very strong, you will be forced to upgrade the towers. But normally, it doesn't really happen. Normally, Trolls are very bad and you are like, ex like you are playing too well for them, you know, so... Usually, you, you don't upgrade the towers. You never want to upgrade these towers anyway. Uh, you're gonna destroy them later. Why? Because apparently it's way cheaper to reach multi-dimensional tower by making a basic tower and upgrading this basic tower in multi-dimensional then upgrading tower manually step by step every time you know what i mean <laughs> it's uh, it's very dumb but it's really working this way so after two uh ionic collectors you make um oh man i made it from that side didn't i you make a uh, Ultra Ionic Collector. When you have Ultra Ionic Collector, if the troll is very strong, like very strong troll, right? Like super strong troll, he is destroying everyone. You make this, okay? And then you don't, you don't even need these towers. Like they're irrelevant at this point. You instead do this. You you make um, you make extra ones, preparing to upgrade them straight again. So upgrading straight is cheaper. Uh, but if throw is not very strong, instead you make uh, gold mines. You know, you just make gold mines. You make another ultra ionic collector, and we keep on making uh, gold mines. Once you feel like you are, you're occupying too much space, it's not a problem late game to uh, start building elsewhere because throw will have to waste his time, you know, to uh, to reach these towers, so it's gonna be like a pain in the ass for him to go like, uh, I mean gold mines, to go with directions, to uh, catch your wisps and destroy the gold mines, you know. So like, yeah, this is your preset. Uh, also, it was around this time you want to make uh, extra repairers, uh, continue making gold mines. I'm not being very efficient because I talk a lot, okay, like I, I could, you can watch my game when I play elf. And when I don't comment on everything I do. But yeah, like you get wood very fast, you just continue making gold mines. If you really want to save space and you don't really want to build outside, you can save for a uh, gold mine for 65k wood right now. But I would recommend to just keep on spamming the cheap ones. Also, 
be aware there is like an issue I'm gonna show you yeah make uh, two secret repairs they are the best like you can't get best better than this one million gold by the way you make a final collector one final collector uh, so here's the thing uh, if there is no space let me make a cheap gold mine for you if there is no space the levis will not get into the gold mine so for example uh, I don't know, if in this line, if I would build two gold mites immediately, this one would be out of wisp. The wisp would spawn here. Realize that, yeah, so it's very important. Uh, destroy it. Get your repairs in. Now you're prepared. Also, same for the wall. If throw is very strong at any stage of the game, right? If throw is very strong in the stage of the game, uh, upgrade the wall. But if throw is weak, upgrade it one or twice when you have multidimensional tower. But ideally what you do, you skip it again, like skipping is cheaper, skip to uh, the fountain, it's way cheaper basically, so yeah. So you progress, uh, gold mines don't really get you much gold, like I feel like they multiply normally, the, like the wisps, they don't multiply normally, the higher the price is, but the gold mines, you know, they, they work like normal uh, things, like they should, they multiply the gold per second you know actually no mu yeah ultra gold mine well it's six four yeah it's actually yes yes it's, actu it's actually normal yeah i feel like it's normally multiplied like i said uh the omega gold mine is not normal but yeah you, you keep on making whatever gold mines you want uh 64 000 or 250 at this stage it's totally up to you once again, I'm not really like doing it too fast enough. Normally you want to make expensive gold mines inside. Also this space could be occupied by little towers. When you make a multi-dimensional tower, it's also very good immediately to make uh, auras for it. So you buff the damage by pretty much a lot, as you can see, like twice the damage, right? And also attack speed. So two two ion collectors, then two ultra ion collectors, then two final collectors, and then you spam supreme collectors. After spamming supreme collectors, in my opinion, it's better to wait for omega gold mine. Like, just wait for omega gold mines, uh, you know, just like, and, and work on the space in your base. That's my advice. So we wait for omega gold mine, take one space from the trees, put it, make another uh, final collector supreme, then wait all right uh here troll is very aggressive he's attacking you upgrade the towers to multi-dimensional uh this one upgrade again like you can skip again as well i will show you give me a second another uh omega gold mine another uh final collector supreme the last collector for four millions yeah you make a end game tower like, it's, if he's very, very, very aggressive, if he's very, very aggressive, instead of wall, don't upgrade the wall first, upgrade the endgame tower. Towers come first, always, towers come first. You just continue making the final gold mines in your base, yet at the right, like, occupy the space in very right manner. And you want, you want basically, at this point, you want to put, uh, like, the final collector supreme, the last wisp, on every tree possible. And you want to put uh, these gold mines everywhere also possible. Uh, the final the final gold mines can't be put here, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna occupy this whole space with the towers. Unupgraded. I continue making the wisps. Continue making the gold mines. At this point, destroy all of these. These are garbage. I usually destroy them earlier. I used to, but like people were complaining, so I stopped. These are useless, completely useless at this point. Even final collector, useless. Final collector supreme is the only way. Uh, continue making them. These are also becoming useless. It's a race with the time, so like, don't, don't try to be a superhuman, you know. Just, just do this. Just do this. Here, you just put. Uh, Responds. Remember what I said. The wisp would not spawn there. I can show you it here. Yeah, the wisp will not spawn. Continue, continue. 
continue, continue. I'm very, I'm very lazy because yeah, it's like a single player. I'm not very being pressured. But see, we didn't spawn, so you wanna do it one by one. See, we spawned. Now again. In the meantime, here, just continue making these gold mines, gold mine, gold mine. Uh, this one will not spawn as well. By the way, be aware of it. Be aware of it. Um, we gotta make a trick here to, to have a wisp on this side. Give me a second. Destroy, destroy. I'm very slow, just saying. You gotta be faster. You gotta be way faster. They have the max amount of wisps on this side? Okay, then. Then this side is. Okay, we destroy it. Uh, where is my flying fucker? There you go. Make um, make a small one. Get a wisp. Put it there. Destroy. Make the final. Good. So, like, ideally you make it ten times faster. You know, ten times faster. You occupy every tree. You occupy every tree. And you continue like this. So this is how you build the economy. I overdid it, okay? I overdid it. Your ideal situation is rush this, okay? End game tower, end game tower, end game tower. This is, okay, this is where, like, you need end game wall, okay? So you make end game wall. Then you upgrade uh, secret laboratory here. End game wall. And. And well, yeah, upgrade auras. Don't forget upgrading auras also good. And this. Okay, so the whole point of playing elf is not to have billion gold mines, not to have billion towers, or like or like billion wisps or whatever. It's not the goal, okay? It's not the goal. The goal is to start as quick as possible uh, with one shot tower. After five minutes, troll will die. After 5 minutes, throw will die. So you want to start this. Uh, this tower is not hitting anything for 5 minutes. Obviously, you are very weak right now. You are very weak, throw can come and destroy you. So because of that, you want you want to balance it. You want to balance how many gold mines you have with how many towers you have. Uh, I feel like this is a solid amount of towers. But maybe you want to make more. Also, I fucked up, I didn't use these trees for the wisps. Also... Yeah. Also, maybe I had to remove like, uh, like I you know, this gold might also make my towers. But basically, this is already pretty much a lot of endgame towers. Like this is probably what you want to see. You don't really need more. Most of the times, you don't need more. Uh, you can, but not very required. Wall can be upgraded one more time. Usually, by the way, the biggest problem gonna be not the gold, but the wood. Like remember that it's gonna be the wood, not the gold. Let's fill up the trees there. Like, the gold mines produce a lot of gold, like 131k. Wisps, 22,000 wood. Like, it's pretty much you need a, a lot more wisps than you need gold mines. Remember that. Uh, yeah, just continue making the towers. So, yeah. You're basically defending yourself as much as you can, giving time this. So, we want to start this as soon as possible. In the meantime, this is protecting you. Uh, well, honestly, I would say, like, it's an exaggeration. I mean, I can continue. Yeah. It's an exaggeration, right? Like, you, most of the games, game ends by you rushing uh, this tower. So you rush multi-dimensional tower, throw comes, he doesn't expect this insane damage coming from your tower. Like, he doesn't expect, this is, uh, like, obnoxious for him, you know? He, he doesn't expect this to see, to be happening. For him, against him, so he will die most likely. If throw is very good, then play like this, yeah. Uh, if you struggle really to build fast and you are like uh, out of the space, like don't feel bad about making these moves, you know, just start building around the place. Throw will have to take his time to go there, to go here, and he's not getting fit as much as he would get fit from hitting someone's wall. 
uh, also you're giving more, more time for yourself for one shot tower at the super super late game scenario you have like billion towers you're super defended you have the max upgrades upgrades on uh, these things as well you know on your auras you consider building a second wall it's pretty good for me situation it would be this yes it does block you can check it like this if you cannot build here diagonally then it blocks properly uh, skip it skip it in like in, in a super super late game so there was a one game where I did something like that you can even do this like if you are super super rich you can make towers and then I don't know like do walls like that. I don't fucking know man. I'm just out of my mind, you know, like I like make more walls and on the front. Also works. Just expand. Expanding good, uh for example, somewhere here, like you, you first start from from here, right? Then you expand to this side, and then you expand you build wall for example here, like double wall here and like uh, double wall here. Like it's also a way. So like this, like this. One doesn't really defend it. You can check, by the way, if the wall defends it or not. The same way. Uh, let, let me check. There's like a white base here. Like, you, you think, oh, if I build a wall, will it defend me here or not? So, troll is uh, two squares uh, wide. And, yeah. If you can't put a second wall in between. See, I can't put it here. I can put it there. Then, troll cannot fit in. Troll will not get inside of your base, do not panic, it's so fine. It's okay. Uh, double basing, triple basing, if you're a good player and you're doing something like that, and you're building outside, is broken and like usually you win like super easily. If you double base like in a base like this, for example, like it's a very special space. By the way, I made this tower and it has like 99 thousands range so the throw is that also he gets a debuff death aura you see he died GP the go so the goal of the game you make enough gold mines to rush the tower uh, how and enough wisps how many do you need uh, it really depends I feel like it's just like intuitively you gotta feel it uh, like you, you spam spam some wisp, you spam 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 gold mines, then you probably stop, you upgrade your secret laboratory, you laboratory to the secret laboratory, you upgrade your wall to the end wall, you upgrade the tower to the end game tower. I mean end game tower first and then upgrade end game tower again, 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 then wall, then laboratory, then wall, then end game tower. The final version of it. So uh, that was basically the guide. Uh, how else you can play, how you can improve from this, like if you are already at this level of uh, elf, how you can improve like even further. What I saw on Wimp and on other players, Wimp Gaming YouTube, the YouTuber guy, my friend. Uh, I'm gonna show you like the other way. The start is pretty much the same, but you abuse like two things you either abuse the trade because the trade for some reason drops the price i don't know how it works to be honest but so once again uh press z b a b z upgrade i mean hotkey upgrade then build a wall upgrade four times upgrade 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 Then destroy, destroy, one tile away from the tree, upgrade, 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 make a town hall, pretty much the start is the same, the start is going to be the same, right, but you, you will make wisps, a lot of wisps, enough straight to upgrade to windmill. So like I was always it's like a it's like a ladder right step by step how I played it like last game I would get enough wisps to barely make it to the next house then I make enough wisps to barely upgrade to the next house and so on and so on 
but there is a strat where you spam a lot of wisps at certain amount of time and then these wisps will carry you because you made them earlier they're gonna accumulate a lot of wood and they, they're gonna carry you to the next windmill uh, sometimes people like with this threat they out uh, matched me like they were doing it way faster than me so it's pretty good I feel like I just don't know how to do it properly and the other threat is that once you get to the 64 uh, gold per second you start trading a lot back and, back and forth so I know how it really works even to be honest like let me try to trade when I'm gonna hit um, good income I'm very, I'm very curious about that myself so when you trade the price rises up what, what happens if you trade back the price lowers It's interesting, right? So yeah, sometimes you can just trade back and forth to get a good wisp. Maybe this threat is good around rushing a secret collector, where he gets already multiplied by five would be twenty, but he gets twenty-four. So maybe rushing this guy would be good. Like maybe like good wisp and then sell wood. You know what I mean? Like. Uh, Something like that, yeah. So yeah, I probably covered everything that you should know about the game. Once again, if Troll attacks you early, like this is a pretty early stage of the game, Troll attacks you. You you blink, you cast... It's on E, right? It's on E, you cast Entangling Roots first, because it has a lower cooldown. And then you press the Shield of Gods, on, once it's expired. This whole time you are building towers like this. You're building towers, you're building towers, you're building towers, then you upgrade them on Q. And that's it. That's basically it. I fucked it up, but yeah. Hope you enjoyed this guide. Maybe, like, uh, someone gonna search for it, you know, like how to play Troll Nails, a uh, guide or something. So, yeah, I just wanted to make it maybe for some people who need it. Uh, my strategy usually makes me. I feel like I'm like around uh, top. 10 at least top 10 at least of player uh, on the bottom net so yeah using my strat you probably can just get a very fast one shot tower and do very fine so yeah that was it I hope you enjoyed it guys and I see you in the next one peace